Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm checking out the Martin GPC X2E guitar. If you watch my channel you would have seen that I was at NAMM two months ago, the NAMM 2024 show, and I spent a lot of time at the Martin booth. I wanted to see the new high-end guitars that have had a ton of hype around them, but I also saw the new X series lineup in the middle of the booth and of course as I was there I wanted to pick them up and see what they felt like. Well, straight away, I really like the feel of the neck on the new guitars. They feel very smooth and very similar to the Martin Standard Series guitars. I'm a big fan of that neck. I like the smooth feel. In general, I like necks that are grain filled and feel very smooth. So I asked Martin if I could check one of these out on the channel and have sent it over for review. I will put links below in the description so you can get all the information on these guitars, but some important things to note. The top is spruce. The top is not HPL, it's spruce wood. The back and sides are Coco Bolo high pressure laminate. Also the nut width is one and three quarters. I know that'll make some people very happy. And it does ship with the authentic acoustic lifespan strings, which are a 12 gauge. So like I said, the first thing I noticed about this guitar was the feel of the neck. So let's flip it over and take a look at it. It's still a select hardwood neck. Well, it depends on the wood they have available. That's why they say select hardwood. But you'll just notice as soon as you feel it that it is smooth. I'd say it's about 90% as smooth as a standard series. It's not quite the same quality of a standard series, of course, because they are the standard series, but it's way improved. But I'm sure you can see the other big change here is the back. Now, this is HPL. This is printed, and there's several different looking backs and sides to these guitars. This happens to be my favorite. I didn't choose this. This is just the one that Martin sent over. But I love how this back looks and it's so subtle as well. Some of them are more in your face. They are all pictures of real pieces of wood from the Martin Custom Shop. So bear that in mind. These are not stock images and this is HPL, but this is incredibly durable. It's pretty much impervious to the elements and the weather. And I think that looks really nice. On the front, you can see they have refined the rosette. If you watch my channel, you'll know I love abalone rosette. And that's basically what this is. It looks really classy, it really gives some flash to the top of the guitar without being too much. Also, this is a more modern bridge with a soft taper to it. It feels really nice to the touch, very smooth. And there's no rough edges. This is not a bone saddle. A lot of people watching are going to say they want to put a bone saddle and bone nut in the guitar. Hey, if you want to experiment with that, then be my guest. Lately, I just feel if a guitar sounds good, then it is good, and I just stick with it. But this is all very smooth to the touch. The neck, as well as being smooth on the back, also feels really nice all round. Like, the edges are rolled, so it feels really nice on the edges of the neck. And they're also using a thinner fingerboard, which is taken from the Authentic series. So a real mix of old and new here. But the neck is great. You know, some necks are too thick for me. Some necks are too thin. This neck just feels super comfortable, smooth. It plays really well. The action is really good. And last but not least, we have satin tuners. They work very well. It keeps its tune. I think they really did it just so you can tell that this is the new kind of reimagined X series. If you see this hanging on the wall, you can tell straight away from the tuners, this is the new version. <laughs> So let's talk about the electronics. This is the E version. This has a pickup in it. This has the Martin E1, which is one of their own pickups. It's an under saddle pickup. If you go inside the sound hole, the button to your left engages the sound hole tuner, which will work whether the guitar is plugged in or not. I really like that. It's probably my favorite thing about the pickup system in this guitar. It's also very accurate. So you see it shows you the note and tells you if you're sharp or flat. So if I'm flat, the dots are to the left, and as I turn sharper, the red dots 
turn green. And I have to say, this is a very accurate tuner. I compared it to a strobe tuner, and it really is accurate. It even seems to be slightly sweetened, because usually the B string is sharp on digital tuners, and this B seems to be more in line with like a sweetened tuning, like you'd want on a guitar. So I think they did a great job with this tuner. And the fact that it's always in the guitar is awesome. When you are plugged in, that will mute the output so people don't hear you tune. What we have here is a pickup under the saddle. So it's an under saddle pickup. The pickup is under here. The first thing to check for is the balance of the strings. So we have two controls. We have volume and tone. I'll leave the tone off for now, volume at maximum. There is a battery in here and it's very easy to replace it. It's a very cool battery compartment. And by the way, if you do end up replacing this pickup and you have another pickup with a battery, you could reuse the battery compartment if you wire the replacement system into this. One issue with many undersaddle pickups is string balance if they're not installed correctly at the factory. So let's check that. The thing to listen for is a weak high E string. Let's see what we think. Well, they are perfectly balanced and it's a very strong output as well, which you can adjust with that volume control. Let's check out the tone now and see what it does to the sound. This is great, it's only cutting the mid around 1K. And that really drastically improves the tone, especially for strumming. If you're playing lead or finger style, you may want to have that mid-range control off to cut through the mix. But if you're strumming, you definitely want to cut that out. Check out the difference between having the control off and about 50% of the way. Remember, that's straight in to my interface. There's no reverb, there's no EQ. If you were to add reverb and EQ to that, you can get a very usable sound. Of course, if you want something more professional, you can get something like an Anthem SL or a sound hole pickup from Fishman with a mic in it. That's going to give you a much more realistic sound but also could cost upwards of a third, even a half as much as the guitar is worth. So I do understand why it doesn't ship with one of those. I would see how you go with the system that's in the guitar, because I actually think it's a very solid system. And I think with the right EQ, you can get a good sound out of this. The reason I'm hesitant to tell you to change it from day one is because I really like the tuner. And once you change the pickup system, you'll lose access to the tuner. The guitar comes in a very well-made padded gig bag. I think that was the right way to go because you're most likely going to be traveling and moving around with this guitar. So you can put stuff in this big front pocket here, and the guitar is pretty well protected. It's got some really nice lining and padding in there. A very nice blue color, as you can see. On the back, one thing I did notice is we now have a single kind of sling style strap rather than two shoulder straps. This might be the only thing that I'm not a huge fan of with this revision. I did like the old bags because they had the two straps and I do travel very light on the subway. So I like to have the bag with the two straps. It's very sturdy so I can then carry a cable bag in my right hand and a speaker in my left hand. But I mean, it's personal preference. I'm sure some people will like this. It can attach on the right or the left side, depending on which way you want to wear it. So let me know in the comments below. Do you like the single style strap on a gig bag or do you prefer to have two? Let me know in the comments below. It'd be good to get your input on that. So I feel like my initial reaction to this guitar at the NAMM show was accurate. It really is great. I've really enjoyed playing it. I've been playing it all week. It's been in this room. It hasn't been affected by the humidity or anything. Of course, if you buy one of these, you want a humidifier. The top is wood, but it's just a great guitar 
for the price. And there's many other guitars at this price as well. But if you want a guitar that says Martin on the headstock, that plays really nicely and feels really good to play with built-in electronics, then I think this is really worth checking out. I think actually for me, this is a more important release than some of the higher end releases at the NAMM show. Not to belittle them, I haven't spent any time with them yet, and I hope to. But in the market we're in now, having affordable options that are of high quality are very important. And I think it was a very smart move to update the X series of Martin guitars and just make them feel that little bit more professional. If you're new here, please subscribe and ring the bell. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and be well. Bye-bye.